Let's get into it. One, two, three. Welcome to my whiskey den where craft whiskey is king. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, get notified, do all the things because you need to. Yes, because you'll want to know when we're going to be reviewing something like this again. Today, we are lucky enough to have some of Dancing Goat Distillery's Limousine Rye. Now, we've looked at this before, you know, once or twice we've talked about it, we've had it in our glass. But this is the cask strength version that you can't really find anywhere. So I'm going to start pouring in this lovely little dram. So why why can't we find it? They don't sell it that way. Oh. <laughs> they don't sell it that way. And maybe 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 you can coerce people into do, you know doing that a little bit here and and okay. releasing it that way. Okay. This isn't one of those, you know, street corner things where you got to Well, I mean Navigate Maybe. the Wisconsin Tufts. Well, if you turn the if you turn the right tricks, Mike, you might get your own bottle. <laughs> I'm trying, man. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> so, this one is 95% rye and 5% corn, and it comes out at 116 proof. Where the normal one is typically 46, 48 ish. They don't have a specific set like uh, ABV for each one because they're each a little bit different, but kind of in that ballpark range so this kind of jumps it up uh, a few notches from just the standard release so what are you guys smelling on the cask strength version i think she's a little more aggressive yeah but yeah it's it's That's not severe no, no it's a little i think it's sweeter mm -hmm. it's like a oh almost like a candied mint for part of it i was getting some some of that, Amer a little bit of the American oak, but a lot of that more of the French oak on the second half of it. Wow. A little bit of that lemon pledge, like you're talking about, Ben, that you get from a lot of Midwest rise, that's kind of hidden in yep. the back for me. Yeah. Yeah, I get a little bit of a vanilla frosting, kind of like a, a real sugary frosting, that sweetness. Um, you get that lemon and citrus in there. And there's a little bit of a grain funk to it. On the nose, it almost smells like oats to me. Yeah. Like not, I don't think there's, there's obviously none in it, but it does kind of smell like oats to me. But it's just, it's like slight. I'm having to like stick my face clear inside this thing to. Yeah. I, I mean, it, that, there's no like severe ethanol burn on this at all. No, no. Unless I'm just getting so desensitized. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen at points. Where, yeah. Where everyone's like, what is it? I'm like, oh, it's like 70% alcohol. I did sample about a dozen different whiskeys yesterday and most of them were cast strength. So. <laughs> and I'm getting like a butterscotch kind of hidden in the background as yeah. well too on this. It, there's just not a lot really jumping out. There's like, there's so many things that there's nothing like big jumping out for me. It, it, it comes across really dense to me on the nose. Yeah. Everything's really packed in tight. Yeah. You got to work at it. Yeah. Yeah. You're definitely going down layers as you get into this. There's kind of like your first two, the front, the middle, the end, it all has something a little bit different going on. Maybe a little bit of sugar cookie in there. I'm getting just a hint of uh, mint right now. It's starting to pull some mint notes out of there. Yeah, you mentioned sugar cookie. I'm I'm getting a snickerdoodle. That little little bit of cinnamon, get, but uh, the sugar yeah. and the. Hmm. Very well. We'll see what it tastes like when it comes yeah, across no the same way or not. Ooh. Yeah, there's some like some kick towards the to tail end of this. Yeah, that's a, that's a normal one does not have, but when I first got a hold of it, it was a little bit of lemon, a little bit of butterscotch in the very front part of the note before stuff started to kind of open up and travel. Um, whew. It was one of those, 
uh, not like a Fer- like a Ferrari moment. It was only like a split second. Like it revved up into it, you know, like it was smooth, smoothish, hoof flavor. Hoof. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't just about- go. Oh, go ahead, go Simon. Ahead. I was gonna say it gives you just like four or five seconds of thinking, yeah, all right, and then wham. <laughs> yeah. But but it doesn't it doesn't feel like uh, it doesn't feel like you know, hundred sixteen percent or fifty eight percent. There's a little bit of black licorice halfway through. Staying through to the the finish on it right now for me. But then kind of the, the French oak barrels kind of come out more. You're getting a little bit of that. A little bit of the fruit note to it. Um, hmm. A little custard. Yeah. And it's got and the rye spices. A little bit of clove and black pepper. Yeah. It's kind of more of the spices I'm getting out of this right now. Hmm. I think that custard note hit it right on the head for me. Yeah, if you were to take uh, like a, yeah. Egg, egg or lemon custard a little bit. Um, sprinkle some sugar cookie on there. Drizzle some butterscotch, and then just <laughs> crack some pepper and throw in some cinnamon and allspice. And <laughs> have a half a bottle of this whiskey. Everything's Ooh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of all those things just really swirled in together. It really is. Yeah, this is uh, this is really good. <laughs> this is, it, it's a, it's and you guys both have like the the original limousine yeah. like uh, yeah. by you. Um, I don't because I drank I killed that bottle a long time ago. Um, I covet my bottle. <laughs> that's, I, I got excited. You know, sometimes sometimes things fall, and it, it was the original bottle for me. But what do you guys like? Comparison wise, is there is there any particular notes that are like in the lower one that aren't in in the upper ABV one? I don't really think so. It's because no. it's the other one. Uh, the original limousine is it's dense also, but it's not. Um, or may, you know maybe dense is more concentrated, but there's like no proof on the nose of the original at all. Mm-hmm. I'm pulling the exact same notes. It's just more muted on the original. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cast strength is just all cranked up, really good. But it's it's all the exact same thing. <laughs> it's like mini me. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like this. It is. It's a. It's almost. Yeah. It's almost like a difference. Take the same dish that you made with run of the mill sugar, run of the mill, you know, flour, everything else. And it's like, oh no, now here's the here's a good baker's flour and using confectioner's sugar and everything else to do it. It just, yeah, like you said, it's just everything is better and amped up. We use real butter and real lard. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes a difference, and yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm like. I don't want to say it's dialed up to like 10 in this, but like say the original is maybe a four. This is like a seven, eight ish. Like it does. There is yeah. in my mind, there's a significant, especially with the spices that are coming off it and more that it's how long it's sticking around in my tongue afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I get like the original limousine rye is, is uh, I think it's, it's a great whiskey. It's a, it's mm-hmm. a really good rye. Um, it's definitely one you could drink every single day. Uh, and, and I, and I have no regrets about any sip I've ever had of it, but this is just, yeah. <laughs> like you, you said, yeah, the Ferrari, it's like, okay, I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car. Somebody just give it the gas and Holy crap. <laughs> it's just, yeah, this is uh yeah. What very, very, very well done. Uh, picking the proof. Cause it's not, it's not overwhelming. It's not slap in the face. It's not beating you around or anything like that. The proof proof is there, but I think it drinks well lower than what the proof is. Yeah, it's just delicious. It's yeah. flat out delicious. I mean, like you would think a good Southern Finnish whiskey should be, and then you throw in, I think the the complexity is what the rye and the spice from the rye offers, and uh, yeah, yeah, you've got a nice package here. Yeah. yeah, it's letting other things like showcase themselves, but all in one night's kind of flow <laughs> to it. It's like yeah, boom, 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 boom. You know, like as it's going through, something else is kind of raising to the top. So and it's yeah and it's mashing grain forward too. You're not tasting a lot of what you think of as barrel so much here. Right. It's not yeah. it's not very oaky. It's no it's just a lot of grain and fruit and the rye is right there. And that's just it. Ninety five percent rye, and it's not trying to choke you. Right. I mean yeah. it's 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 good. I mean it's it's just it's like a 
very evenly balanced for having from being that high a rye and being that high a proof. Yeah, well, it's got nice, uh, not as oil as you'd think. I was going to say I, I was touring it here a little bit, and it takes a while for it to come down. Maybe that was part of the problem. I wasn't giving it long enough. It does stick. It's pretty oily. I was going to say it sticks around quite a bit on the side of the glass. It just takes a while to come down. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Give you that classic mouthfeel you expect from a from a cast strength whiskey. Oh yeah, where it's like I said, it's even got. I like the heat on this one because it's one of the ones where if you were having a cast strength, you knew you're drinking it, and I think even in winter it would be better because it'd give you that little bit of warming effect. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm feeling the, the warming down in here, and yeah. it's it's now just kind of coming up, <laughs> and it's it's but but not you know like oops, coming up. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> it's uh it's just kind of growing. That's mm -hmm. that's really nice. Sweet, sweet. So I'm glad we got a chance. Please to make taste this it. whiskey. <laughs> yeah, please make this one available. Yes. Um, we uh, appreciate how we got it. Thank, you. Fred. When we did the gin thing, we we also got a little sample of this. I split it up because. I mean, who doesn't want to try something new all yeah. the time that you can't get from someplace? So it was, uh, it was, it was good. It was really good that way. Just wanted to mention it. And we weren't, we weren't just kissing butt to kiss butt. It, uh, it really was, it, it really is a nice, nice whiskey at this upper level. And I would love to see it come on like this maybe once a year as a special release or something. Yeah. So, or even remember, just make only three bottles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> now you can you can bottle your own there, or it's going to happen there that you yeah. can do that. So I wonder if they'll be like the this is this is the one after the process, and this is the the cast strength version. They might do it in like a dual one. Yeah, so that would be pretty sweet. But uh, hmm. I think that's good for today. We're going to let you go get back to your lives. So remember, it's not the size of the den that matters; it's the love of whiskey. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Let's get into it. One, two, three.